Hello, so I want to talk to you today about the two pin plugs that you get with your electric toothbrush and the three pin adapters that you can get. Now this video is primarily aimed at those living within the UK. If you have an electric toothbrush or are thinking of buying one, then you're going to find that when you buy that electric toothbrush, it's going to come provided with a charging stand, but it's going to have a two pin plug like this on it. Now you might be wondering, why does it not have a three pin plug as is the tradition here in the UK? Well, let me explain. So it's all to do with safety. Now the vast majority of us will brush our teeth in our bathrooms. And what tends to happen in bathrooms is we tend to take showers and baths where there's water. And generally speaking, water and electricity mixed together are dangerous. So the idea was by introducing a two pin plug, it was gonna make things safer. Because a lot of appliances that run off three pin mains electricity are high power items. Now to give you an extreme example, if you took your toaster and plugged it in in the bathroom and it fell into the bath whilst you were in it, you're gonna get a serious electric shock and possibly die. But I don't wanna think of dangerous situations like that. So the safety experts brought in the two pin plug with the intention of making everything safer. And that in theory reduces the chances of bringing high power items into the bathroom. Most bathrooms today will come provided with a two pin power outlet. You might know it better or be aware of shaver sockets. They're the little two pin white faceplate adapters you usually see in bathrooms, but quite often they can be uh, on mirrors or lights that may be around the sink or above the sink. So you can connect this two pin plug into that shaver socket. If it says shavers on it, that's fine, this will work. Now what you need to be aware of is that the two pin plug for the UK is different to the two pin plug that you'll get in European countries. So that also applies if you're traveling from Europe and you bought your toothbrush in Germany, the charging stand for your toothbrush in Germany would not work in the two pin power socket that you actually find in UK bathrooms. So that's something to bear in mind. There is a difference between the Euro two pin and the two pin designed for UK bathrooms. Now some bathrooms, like mine for example, doesn't actually have a two pin shaver socket in it. And the good news is you can get adapters. And these are called two pin to three pin adapters. And I have an example here that I'm showing you now. And quite simply, they have a three pin plug on the back and they have two pins uh, on the front that you can connect your charging stand into like that. And you simply connect it into regular mains electricity as you would. Of course, you can get two pin plugs installed in your bathroom, but there may be added costs and disruption to do that. Now, adapters like this are fairly easy to pick up. You can find them in most sort of hardware stores. Um, you can head online to places like Amazon, and they're generally a few pounds to pick up. Do be careful when you pick up. You wanna try and pick up a fairly good quality one with uh, you know, a fuse and everything in there are a lot of options to buy these sort of converters, but they're not all made to the same standard. So you may also be wondering, well, what about using this two pin charging stand when you travel, be that into Europe or internationally to places like America? In certain countries, they don't have these safer sockets like the shaver sockets we have here in the UK. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Take the USA for example, their voltage is 110 volts and not the 220 to 240 volts that we see in Europe. So you could argue it's a little bit safer. In other countries around the world, they allow you to plug into the main power supply within the bathroom. And that can be because some countries don't have the same safety standards as we have here in the UK. And that's not to say that other countries are doing it rightly or wrongly, it's just the mechanisms and the systems that are in place within those countries. So you can travel with your two pin power adapter 
uh, internationally and in Europe, you just need to be aware of certain plug and potentially voltage adapters. Now we have another video on our channel that goes through this as well as a full written article available on our website. I'll link that in the description below. But you certainly can travel, you just need to be aware that you're going to need the potentially a plug and voltage adapter. And to give you an example, if you took your UK charging stand and were going to the USA, the USA has a different voltage and it has a different plug. So I have an Oral-B charging stand here that only supports 220 to 240 volts. Therefore, I would need a step-up voltage converter to take the 110 US voltage to the 220, 240 to support this stand, but I'd also need a plug adapter to be able to allow me to connect this two-pin connector in to the step-up voltage converter as well. But as I say, there's more information on our website and in another video on our YouTube channel. Just click the link in the description for that. There's also a more detailed written explanation available on our website all about two pin plugs. That link is in the description as well. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want more information like this, click subscribe. But until next time, thanks for watching.